I hereby introduce to you, Mr. Michael Vesey. So, Christian, one more question then about the business model side of things. We talked about the fact that you've got to find the right model for you. You talked about property training and, and the business kind of side of things. What sort of other types of businesses do you help people to, to decide between or to explore aside from, obviously, Amazon, which we're now looking at? Yeah, it's interesting. I mean, I spend a lot of time with people who really, I would say, are, are pretty confused as to which way to turn with stuff. Um, they're overwhelmed and, um, you know, they're looking for some direction. And the problem is there's no lack of information out there on the Internet. You know, you can find out pretty much anything you want to by going to YouTube. The problem is having direction. And that's where people find it useful to come along to Escape the Rat Race events, to actually be part of a community of like minded people who are all going through that same phase of exploration and, 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 you know, learning what's good and what's working and what isn't, and then helping and sharing that with one another. So there's all sorts of ideas that people uh, come, come to me with. And when I really dig deep and ask them, you know, what it is that they'd really love to do if money was no object and they wake up every day, the answer that invariably comes back from people is helping others. Now, that could be in different shapes and sizes. Maybe it's helping others to get fit. Um, maybe it's helping others to get wealthy. Maybe it's helping others, you know, to overcome fear. And that depends on your personal preference and skills. But, you know, generally, people do want to help others. And, and I think that's a really nice human quality. And so, you know, I've helped people, um, you know, setting up coaching businesses and health and fitness businesses. And, um, you know, the business model is the same for all of them. You know, you've got to get clear on who's your ultimate, you know, um, avatar, your customer, um, you know, not being too broad, niching in and finding uh, an industry or an area where you can become the go-to person. Um, and, and we talked about this at, at our meetup earlier this month and you were there, Michael, and we had John Williams speaking as well. So, yeah, it's about finding an interest, finding something you're good at, and finding something where there's an, enough people who are willing to pay you money, because, of course, that's the uh, important aspect to consider as well. Absolutely. Otherwise, it's a hobby, not a business. And it's fine to have either, isn't it? But you've got to be clear. I mean, I know that the classical music so-called industry is, in a lot of cases, is more of a hobby, hobby than a business, which is one of the other reasons I made the leap into the business world, because you can't really make a living in, in London on £15 an hour or whatever. They try and pay people in, in the classical world sometimes. So... Absolutely right. Now, one other thing I wanted to, to pick up on there that I think is so important for people in the Amazon world to hear is exactly what you just said, which outside of Amazon is, is a conventional, normal thing, um, but not followed enough, but at least as wisdom is conventional, which is you've got to decide on who your market is, who's your customer and niche down. And I think in Amazon, people get very, very product centered. They get centered on the physical widget and they forget what's really important is the person who's behind it, who has a problem that they need to solve or a passion, like they have a passion for golf, they want golf clubs, they have a problem with migraines, they need, you know, headache tablets to, to pick some simplistic examples. And it's so important to do that. And I, I absolutely ran that home with my uh, poor coaching clients um, because I think that it's very easy in the Amazon space for some reason to forget business fundamentals and just think of it's it's magic. And it's, there is something magic about the um uh, selling machine, if you like, that Amazon has created. It is extraordinary, but nevertheless, it's driven by normal marketing principles. So that's a really helpful reminder to us to, to go back to business basics in the Amazon world, really. And um, tell me a bit more about your um, approach with coaching. So obviously, you, you say you got a lot of confused people. What's the process that you use to kind of deconfuse them? Is there a sort of yeah. basic process? Well, I do. Yeah. You know, and obviously, I've had a lot of mentors and, 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 and been through a lot of this, studied personal development for a long, long time, read so many books, listened to so many podcasts. So you pick up a lot, you know. And to be honest, I don't think there's too much new information out there. I I often say, actually, that really, if you want to know um, what the secret to success is, then just get a copy of Think and Grow Rich from Napoleon Hill, because that book came out, you know, you know, probably about 60, 80 years ago now. And it really does lay it down. You know, there's nothing 
changed since then. The fundamentals of um, just having a burning desire and just belief in yourself, uh, confidence and, 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 and collaboration through masterminds and things like this. And um, everything we hear out there on the Internet these days is pretty much, I think, a bit of a regurgitated variation of what was in that amazing book. So if you haven't listened or, or, or read Think and Grow Rich, absolutely go out, get yourself a copy now. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's one of the classics. But um, I did create my own um, take, I guess, on, on that advice. Um, and when I moved out to Lisbon last year, I spent the summer um, living in Lisbon, uh, working remotely and testing that whole remote living lifestyle out. I had some time to reflect on actually, you know, how had, got, how had I managed to get to that point um, in under three years where I'd gone from working full time, having no business to actually having a business that allowed me to you know just live um in another country still make money still be able to work with my clients um online and so i i put together a five-step uh, process myself and i call that the five-step freedom formula i'm actually writing a book at the moment which it will be coming out uh, you know probably in around april may of this year and that's going to focus around these five steps and i'll just quickly run you through them and the first one being foundation which is about getting really clear on where you are right now what your values are you know what's important to you in your life and then looking forwards almost and i describe this as standing on a river and you're looking across to the other side and the other side is kind of like your dream life you know if you could have everything you know what would you what kind of version of you would be standing on that opposite side looking back you know who do you need to become in order to get to the other side and and there's this bridge and we're all at different stages across the bridge you know from where we are today to where it is that we all want to get to and, and that could be financial motivations it could be having more time to spend with your family it could be you know being able to live remotely and, and travel the world so so step one is foundation really getting clear on on where you are and where you want to get to step two is flow and that's understanding yourself your natural strengths and and your genius within and, and we touched on that earlier it's about whether you're naturally a creative person or a people person or a details person super important and it's not only important to know who you are it's important to know where the gaps are and who you need to partner with to find your own entrepreneurial team Step three is finances. So this is where, you know, it's a matter of looking at your own personal financial statement, knowing exactly where the money is coming into your life every month and where it's going out. And there's generally some some holes in that bucket where, where it's leaking and we need to make sure that we have that you know, sort it out before you even think about really building a business. And we look at the different asset classes again, which we've spoken about earlier. Then the fourth step I take people through is fear. And this is really just overcoming that little voice in your head, you know, the one that holds you back and tells you you're not good enough, you can't do it, makes up all these excuses. And, and that really is a, a massive, massive barrier that we need to learn how to control and overcome. So we talk about some strategies there to help people. And then the fifth step um, is, is focus. And that's about, OK, let's look at everything we've discussed. And now it's almost a matter of what can we say no to? So when you know that certain strategies are just not right for you, then it makes it a lot easier to actually see which ones you should put your time and energy into and actually create a plan to move you forwards from there. So I teach this, um, you know, as a as a one to one, as a group online uh, program. But I'm actually going to put it all into a book now. And that book is going to be called How to Sack Your Boss and Start a Business You Love. Fantastic. Well, I have to say that listening to you speak, I'm thinking for myself like, oh, I need to do this. And I'm starting to get inspired about certain things already. Like, yeah, you know, I need to strengthen my my ability to give things up and to outsource things that aren't my my genius, as you put it. And uh, yeah, I think this is super important. And this is really one reason, Christian, why I wanted to have you on the, on the show, because we talk very, very specific stuff on Amazon and detail does matter. The devil's in the detail and they say retail is detail. So, you know, I guess those are two reasons why detail matters. And yet... The more that I do coaching, I'm surprised. I've been amazed to learn over two years that really, or not amazed, but I suppose it, it confirmed something that maybe I suspected but didn't really believe, which is it's not the business model that's a problem. It's not the detail. It's not the profit and loss statements, although you've got to get those right. It is the mentality side. And particularly, I think fear and focus are the two things, you know, that the fear and lack of focus block people or overcoming fear or courage, really. 
and focus are the things that I notice in the successful people in my communities and also amongst my Amazon friends. I'm not like once or twice, but just over overwhelmingly. So that's very, very interesting. I'll certainly be one of the first in line to buy that book. Um, so I look forward very much to reading that. So talking about communities, I just want to touch on the um, the thing of masterminds and coaching. I mean, everyone should know by now who listens to the podcast that I offer both of those things. What I haven't done till now is offer uh, training because I do feel like you that you've got to tailor it to the individual person. So it's taken me till now to figure out a sort of formula that is simple enough to teach, but broad enough to to encompass different people's journeys. And we've actually managed to get that crack now. So you and I are going to be collaborating on some uh, a very first full day training for Amazon um, for your community. So do you want to talk through a couple of bits and pieces on that? And then I'll give my side as well. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm very, very excited about this. And, you know, I've done some various trainings in the past. It's always been, you know, a really fun experience. I find when you get you get with like minded people in a room, you know, you just have so many aha moments and and you walk out of that room with new friends, you know, because you're all you're all wired the same way. You know, you all want to achieve something for yourselves. And of course, we've got this Gate the Rat Race community. It's so easy for people to stay connected through our Facebook group or, you know, uh, you know, through coming to our monthly events. So um, so on this uh, Amazon one day um training masterclass that we're putting together it's really for those people who are serious about you know really looking at this as a strategy to help them get out of the rat race and um, again this is your expert area Michael of you know the content that we're going to be covering in the day um, but it's a follow-on from these two-hour taster workshops that we're running um, for those people that say okay you know I think this sounds like something that I could actually put put my energy into that I could be, you know, I could I could be successful with. And they want to then learn what's the next steps? How do we actually find the products and get those products you know, actually live and making our first sales as quickly as possible? Because that's a huge mental barrier. When you actually get some money coming in from your first sale and it only needs to be like 10 pounds, you know, it's that's a that's a huge, huge mental um, you know, tick that shows you, you can do it. You know, if you can do one sale, then you can do two sales. If you can make 10 pounds, you can make a hundred pounds. And that really, you know, that can open the floodgates then to, to all sorts of amazing things. Absolutely right. Yeah. So you put it interestingly better than I would have. I was just thinking, well, I'm so glad I asked you to explain this. I mean, yeah, basically I suppose I've spent my life in, in doing Amazon and teaching Amazon and selling on Amazon and what have you. So you're absolutely right about the like-minded community. And that is really a very important part of that. And I want to make very clear that whilst in one day I can't teach everything about um, Amazon, it's basically, as you said, it's getting that first sale. Um, probably not going to be, it's not going to be a private label sale um, if it's going to be super quick, but it's getting that first sale and then getting people through the big block that is quotes product research that people can spend two years on. I want to get people through that in a couple of months. And that workshop's designed to, to really drill down into how do we do that give you a clear clear model and then send you a way to get going with that but instead of just abandoning everyone like nearly every uh, workshop out there on amazon has ever done or the online courses and instead of just an online community of facebook where everyone shares ignorance we're going to have um membership to the masterminds that i've got up and running and proven included in that workshop which i think is very important because it's the implementation of training it's the, the nuts and bolts where i think people get you know, get caught and fall down and fall by the wayside and lose their focus and succumb to fear. Exactly the things you, you spoke about, Christian. And that's where I can help because I've got quite a lot of experience of helping people break through fears and get refocused on what matters. And, and masterminds are an amazing way to do that. I'm also even going to include one hour of mentoring with me one to one as well, which I think is basically the, the sort of gold standard of how to really really hone your own business is a one-on-one -on -one work with somebody who's done it before and, and helped others through it before as well. So that's what's included in that. And um, I'm looking forward to this because I think we can really respond to what people want when it's face-to-face -face in a way that you just can't online. And uh, there's not enough face-to-face. -face. And the ironic thing, I think about the new, uh, the new online strategy, Christian, I think is offline, you know, getting in the room with other people. Crazy talk. <laughs> yeah you know and obviously there's you know there's only so much we can do in terms of like how far we can reach ourselves of being in a room with people so you know it's it will start in london and obviously you know uh 
it may be that you know we're able to to turn some things into some digital products you know just so that we can touch more people because you know some fantastic information that we're going to be sharing and teaching and we understand not everyone can come along to london or even get to the uk so you know we'll do as much as we can to um you know to to progress and and take feedback from everyone that's in the room that day and you know and of course just asking everyone listening right now you know get in touch with michael you know share Give us your comments. Tell us what you'd like. What's missing? You know, what would really help you? And we'll take all of that feedback on board, and you know, we'll put something together to to help as many of you listening as possible. Absolutely. And by the way, if you want access to this podcast or anything related to Christian, who I suspect we're going to be getting back on the show at some point as well, because um, you've got a lot that we need to hear. I think Christian, we need to hear some of the specific things you're talking about. I'm still thinking about those those five F's. I'm thinking that that's a good framework. I'm liking that very much so if you want to get that folks www.amazingfba.com forward slash christian c-h-r-i-s-t-i-a-n um and um the other thing is and we can't call it chris i'm afraid i think it's easier to spell but that's already taken we've got chris green up there he's he's the, a bit of a, a merch by amazon maven uh he spoke to us a while ago but also we have got the link to the workshop or we will have by the time this goes live so that's going to be at www.amazingfba.com forward slash workshop because although it is training uh, it's not just me standing at the front with a with a projector it's going to be you uh if you choose to come and accept the mission uh with a, a workbook of some kind just actually doing stuff that you can walk out of there with action points and things that you will build your business not just absorbing stuff as well i think it's important to make that clear so christian um i think we've uh we've covered all bases really here except that i just want i know you've had some amazing guests on your podcast but i'm very generous of you speaking to people like roger hamilton who i'm a huge fan of i know he's created the whole wealth dynamics thing amongst many other businesses and daniel Priestley, rob moore some big hitters in in the business and self-development space so can you share with us um two or three uh, pieces of wisdom that you've taken for your guests i'm sorry i'm putting you on the spot here i didn't warn you about that <laughs> um yeah i mean i've been so fortunate and very blessed to to have had you know some really fantastic guests that i, I truly admire over the last year or so of doing my podcast and you mentioned a few there and roger hamilton was actually a mentor of mine um, last year and of course, Roger is all about finding your flow, you know, and when you do find your natural genius within, then life becomes easier. You know, it stops feeling like you're, you know, you're trying to paddle against uh, the stream, against the flow. And it just it, things open up, opportunities open up. So taking that time to find your flow, take the wealth dynamics test. You can find a link to that on the Escape the Rat Race website or, or anywhere online, really. So that would be one piece of advice from Roger. Um, I had Dr. John Demartini, who was, uh, you know, famously kind of in the secret movie from from many years ago. And Dr. John Demartini is all about understanding your personal values and, and really living by your true values every day. Uh, he said some great things, you know, and, and one thing that really stuck was that, you know, if you're not clear about your own values, then you'll just be affected by everyone else's. So you'll go through life and every day where, you know, Everyone else's opinions will just overpower you. And, and that's what makes us, you know, lose a little, little bit of belief in ourselves. But when you take the time, and this is, again, something we cover in step one of, of those five steps is, is your values. And I ask people, you know, write down what your top 15 values are. And I ask them to, like, cross some off and it gets really difficult. And you're left with those that are really, really, really important to you. And very often money and wealth is nowhere to be seen. It's all about connection and love and just, you know, having a, a good mindset and things like that, which is really great. Um, and another great guest. Well, I guess Daniel Priestley. And um, I've actually, uh, this is a bit of a world exclusive that I can announce here, Michael, but Daniel Priestley will be speaking at the next Escape the Rat Race event in London on April the 4th. Um, 2018 and uh, I'm very very lucky and, and 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 excited to have Daniel speaking but Daniel was a previous guest on the podcast and um, you know Daniel talked about the importance of if you're going to transition from employee to entrepreneur that you really got to get good at selling and you've got to learn how to sell yourself and um, you know before you can even begin to start selling products and services so I think those are three key nuggets there that I've taken away from some of those guests that I've had the uh, pleasure of interviewing.
Wow, fantastic uh, thoughts, but I'm thinking bringing back to Amazon again. This is one of those things which, as soon as you say it, it sounds very obvious in the general self development and business mindset kind of space. But you know, most people get obsessed with selling a product, and they forget that before they're going to sell a product, you've got to sell yourself to the suppliers of those products. Otherwise, they won't even answer your emails. And one of the major things that I often encounter working with. Um, my uh, students is they've gone to a supplier and they've gone in with a tiny vision or no vision at all like basically they've gone hi um what's the smallest possible quantity i can order from you thanks very much love mike and you know and a bunch of other irrelevant questions as opposed to how much would it cost to get a container of products you know and we have a big vision of this and that and it just sends a completely different signal so so interesting so interesting that you say that and it applies directly to amazon even though on the surface of it people would think it's such a different business model it, this is yeah it's been such an important conversation to have with christian uh, e even more than i thought it was going to be which is great because i knew you were a great guy but this has been really really thought-provoking so christian just remains for me to say thank you so much for coming on the show and to the listeners and uh readers of the blog and the viewers of the youtube channel um if you have any interest at all in getting training from me, the only actual training I've ever done is going to be with Christian. And you better get yourself along to the Taster Workshop if you can get to London at amazingfba.com forward slash Taster, T-A-S-T-E-R, to sign up for that. And Christian, thank you so much for coming on. It's been a real pleasure, Michael. I've really enjoyed it. And, um, you know, it's only a few hours before we're, we're going to be seeing each other face to face and, uh, you know, getting ready for tonight's Taster session with everybody. Absolutely. I mean, one of the slides I can reveal on on the uh, the presentation on that is is going to be ready, fire, aim, and I think you and I are really living that. In that, we uh, <laughs> we came up with an idea and we said, okay, okay, look, the only way to check if this works is to get market feedback. Let's create something. We're going to the minimum viable product will be high quality because I've been doing this for ages, so I know what I'm doing with with training on Amazon. But nevertheless, it is a new venture. But we just we're getting out there and doing that. So I would say to anyone listening you know that if you've got an idea at some point you've got to try and sell something to somebody and see if they buy it that's my <laughs> passing thoughts yep. christian any other passing thoughts from you final advice i think you know always i just say just take that first step but um you know also don't just take a step into the unknown you know find yourself a good group uh, a mentor you know facebook groups it's so easy now but just find somewhere that you can go and 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 get a good vibe from the people and uh, ask a few questions but just do something you know make sure you're not still here in the same position that you are today in 12 months time looking back and thinking oh i wish i'd have started i wish i'd have done something just do it amen to that thank you christian so much for coming on the show Thanks, Michael.